Hey now, Mike Shaman here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a user registration form with Gravity Forms. So I already installed Gravity Form, and one of the add-ons is user registration. There's a lot of add-ons. There's also Get Response, which is email marketing, which I use, and then there's also Payment Gateways if you are adding product. But user registration is the one that we're using. It's right here. You got a form set up already. You know, you can add whatever fields you want to for your form, but I'm just going to do name, email. And then if you go to username and password, you know, you, you can require, like I said, you require whatever forms you want. Okay, just go to update. All right, now if you notice when you install the user's registration that it adds different settings underneath, uh, or it adds the setting underneath settings. So if you just click that, all right, and then if it's saying, do you want to add a feed? So if you want to add a feed, you go to add new, okay? And then user registration feed, that's the name. You want to do a create user, okay? And then you just want to make sure the, these are all matched up for what they are, all right? And then if you want to select a role for them, you can select the role here. So I'd just be a subscriber. And uh, you can define your roles within user. User meta, you don't really need that. Now, if you want them to be able to activate the use registration themselves, you want to enable user registration. And it says by email or manually, uh, manually or by form notification. So I usually do by email. This way they check their email. And there's a link in the email that says, hey, activate your uh, registration here. Just click a link. And they click the link. And then they activate it and they can log in. You could do uh, registration con condition. Maybe if you have a certain condition, conditional logic that you want to do. Uh, I just go to update settings. All right. And you can also go to settings right here on the sidebar and go to use your registration. This is a general setting. This is different from what we were just in. Okay. And then you can choose a registration page that you want to. Um, that's a custom registration page. Okay. And then you update it. So I've already installed the form. Okay. With the short code on this, uh, the site. So what I'm going to do is just refresh this page. All right. And there is our form. So now once somebody signs up, they will be able to access the, whatever it is that you want to access. Okay. Once you get the form filled out, submit, then it goes to a message. All right. So, and actually, we, this is something that we didn't uh, modify um, in the back end, which I'll show you how to do that now because you, you can uh, redirect them to where you want them to go. All right. So, that's how the registration form is done. Now, I'll show you the email in just a second. But if you go back here and you go to forms and you go to notifications, or excuse me, confirmations, confirmations, and you can go to uh, edit the default confirmation you have a page and a redirect or you have a text okay if you choose text whenever they submit that form it's just going to show this message here now you can use this to put a download link maybe you you're offering a free report and you want to put a download link there then you just put the the you know whatever the the pdf or or download now you can make a button or something and you can link that to uh your pdf right here by choosing the url where your PDF is. All right, and now whenever they get that message, it's going to be, uh, hey, thanks for that, and download now, here's your report, okay? And if you wanna redirect them to another page, maybe you have a different page they wanna to go to, uh, like a sales funnel maybe you're doing, you can download them to whatever uh, page you want to go to there. Or if you wanna redirect them to an external URL, you can do that right here. So maybe you're passing them on to an affiliate product and you have an affiliate link in there. This is where you put that affiliate link right here. So once they hit submit, you capture their information and then it goes to the URL. So one of the things I use is Get Response. Uh, for uh, capturing their email. Once you configure their settings, you can add an email. Whenever they sign up, they get automatically emailed from my Git response, which is a personal email for me saying, hey, thanks for signing up, I appreciate it, whatever it says, but that's what uh, I've connected there. So basically, that, that's how they register. Okay, now let me show you the email. Okay, so here's the email. It got here automatically fast. So there's the email. Now here's my link to, to activate my uh, registration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to a incognito tab where I'm not logged in. And I'm going to put the the key in the URL, and there it goes. Now my link is now activated. So now my active my account's active. I can go to log in, or I can go back to the home page. Okay, I'm just going to log in, 
And now it takes me to this login form. Now I can log in. And this can be configured to whatever you want the WP login. That's where this is taking me to. You can, there's a plugin actually that you can use to control where this login goes to. So I'm just going to enter my um, username and password that I created and log in. And there we go. So this is where it takes you again. You can, you have to choose where that login goes and then be able to log in there. So. Uh, well, that's the thing with the user registration is that it just allows you to create accounts. It's up to you to have like a membership software or something to that extent to keep them locked out of, uh, to keep the not registered users locked out of the data. This is the user registration and, and I have it on one of my other forms actually that I use. So on this page, I have a, a user registration form and I have an email account creation, username, and password. And then when they buy this product, it creates a username and password, sends them that email that you saw, all right? And then this link is set to go to the login page. All right, and on the login page is right here. It says, check your email for account activation link. All right, and then right here, they would see a login form if they're not logged in. So you see how this works is that they would see a login form if they're not logged in. They, if you log out, you can see it, but you want to make sure that they check that email activation link. Once they do that, it's all automation. This whole thing is automated. Right? They they go, they, they buy the product and that once they fill this out, they're on my email list. I send them to get response and then they get an email saying, hey, here's your account password, everything. I send them a personal email through the get response. They're on my list as a buyer now. And then these are just affiliate links in the members area again. And I should say also that this is connected to WooCommerce memberships there. So once they buy this particular product, then they get activated to, to access those pages, okay, the 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 membership pages in the back end. So what I did is I just created this button right here and these are these are locked areas within the the website. So that's kind of how the Divi, well I made it with the Divi theme, but this is how the Gravity Form user registration really works. So once you set it all up, this is what it could be. I hope you guys got a lot of this tutorial. Go ahead and check out my other tutorials and um thanks a lot guys.